everybody, this is Doug. In this video, I want to walk you through a basic install or a basic configuration of the analytics extension in Adobe Launch. So here we are in Launch, and we're in our little site here, our little property of Geometrics Clothiers. And we have the core extension, of course, which is automatically installed. And then we have also installed the Experience Cloud ID service, which you are definitely going to want to do. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the analytics extension. So we go to the catalog. And luckily, it's right here at the top. So we're going to click install. And this will take us to the top section. You can see if I collapse that there are a number of sections and we're not really going to talk in depth about each one. But I do have videos that do go in a little more depth with each one of these sections. And I'll put links to those on the page so you can go a little deeper if you want. But for now, for a basic implementation, we're going to go right through it. Okay, so we are going to let it manage the library for us. That's great. And we are going to get our report suite. So this already assumes that you have created a report suite and we are going to find it. And so we just go down here. We happen to know that ours is TMD Geo Clothiers Dev. It's right here. So we can select that and it'll grab that right out of our analytics configuration because we have hooked it together with this. We're in the same experience cloud org. So I can select that. And for now, I'm actually going to just put the same thing on the staging and production report suites because I haven't created those report suites yet. So for now, just so we have something in there, I'm going to copy the dev report suite in there, but definitely going to come in later and change this to a staging and this one to a production report suite so that we can have the right data going into the right report suites. But I haven't even created those report suites yet because I want to make sure that I have all the settings I want on my dev report suite before I copy that to a new staging and a new production report suite. So there you go. We are also going to make the tracker globally accessible so that the S object can be used across this property. And then we're going to go into general. And we are going to set up our tracking server. Now the tracking server needs to be something dot sc dot omtr dc dot net now just put your company name or you can use a shortened version of it or whatever you want right here it's up to you so for me i'm just going to put tmd for tech marketing demos my company right up there you can choose whatever you want and if you have an ssl version if you have a secure version, then you can copy that over and do tmd.ssl.sc.mtrdc.net. Okay. And you can go ahead and look in the documentation for more information about the tracking server if you want. Now, we're not going to set any global variables uh, because we're going to do them in a global rule. So we're not going to need to do that. If I go to link tracking, I just want to show you that uh, by default, we do have kind of this automatic download and automatic outbound or exit link tracking, and that's great. So you can look those up and see what they do a little bit more. We're not going to right now worry about cookies or custom code or forwarding to audience manager. But again, you can watch those videos if you'd like. Okay, uh, we will be coming back in this series and doing some stuff in the configure the tracker using custom code area, but not right now. So that's all we need to do. Now, if you have already then selected your working library up here, you can simply save to library and build. So I'll click that. Then I'll save that and we have that building up here. Great, and it's done. And that's pretty much it. Just a real quick setup of the Adobe Analytics extension. Now it is implemented on your page because we have put the embed code on there but there are no hits going into analytics yet uh, in case you're wondering and you were going to go look at that because we need to set up a rule that actually sends it in. So in any case, uh, if you wanted to now, you could go over and look for the satellite object if you went to the JavaScript console and stuff. But nevertheless, we'll see that in a minute in another video and good luck.